Howdy folks and welcome to another one of my NDIS centered OBS tutorials. So you may know that uh, NDI Tools 3.5 was coming out uh, sometime in May. Uh, it looks like they've dropped the release uh, on the 11th. It should be uh, of June uh, in the US. And uh, for me, that's the 12th of June. So they're only about 12 days late on their promise of releasing it in May. Uh, however, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna show you how to set up OBS with NDI with no plugins. It's fantastic. It's great that there's no plugin required anymore to get your virtual input. So we'll go through, I'll explain some of the new features and uh, we'll have a little bit of fun with some NDI. So let's get cracking. Alrighty, as we can see here, um, obviously I've gone to the NDI tools website, which I'll have in the description below. Uh, so head to that link. Now, I'll just quickly run through some of the uh, new parts of NDI uh, that you might find interesting. Now, they have uh, updated the studio monitor, so you can now technically monitor an NDI stream via a web browser. This isn't really useful for people using OBS because you're technically monitoring the stream in OBS anyway on a secondary PC, but it's just useful if you just want to have a look and make sure that everything's running fine. The NDI scan converter has been updated, so it now has GPU acceleration, which means that you can actually grab full screen games, applications, whatever you want without any issues at all now. It does get up to 60, uh, 60 hertz. Uh, it will give you various modes uh, of what frame rate you can capture. And I'll go through that a bit later. But the best part about it is the fact that you can now capture webcams separately to needing OBS to capture different outputs. So you can have a, a stream for your webcam. You can also have a stream for your desktop overlay or you can have per application streaming as well. What I'm going to be going through today is purely streaming your desktop. I won't go into how to select applications because that should be pretty self-explanatory when you go through the listings. So we'll be focusing on my instance, which is capturing a 3440 by 1440 60 Hertz display and moving that from moving it over the network, capturing it and putting it onto my secondary encoding slash streaming machine. Now the virtual input is what we're really interested in today because with the NDI virtual input, you no longer need a plugin for OBS. In OBS, you simply add it as a virtual capture device. And in my initial testing, it's a lot better than the plugin ever was. Now there are a little interesting things uh, with this that I'll be going through, uh, specifically how to capture audio, but that's fairly self-explanatory once we get into that. The rest of these, uh, you won't really need to worry too much about. If you wanna do test patterns, that's obviously an option here as well. What we're going to do now is download the NDI tools. So in this instance, we're just gonna chuck in some fake details because we don't really care. And we hit download and we download. Now you can either save or run depending on your web browser. In this case, we're just going to run. All right, it may ask you to run as administrator to say yes to that one, that's perfectly fine. Uh, have a look through the terms and conditions if you agree. Hit you accept and hit next. You wanna keep the location as is and click next. Um, this one already exists. I'm not gonna install this myself because it will break everything. I will cancel at this point. The main key programs you want to select and you want to do this on both of your machines. So your main desktop gaming PC and also your encoding machine as well. So you wanna make sure that on both of these that you have the NDI HX drivers, the scan converter, the studio monitor. So one of the main ones that you definitely need to make sure that is installed is the virtual camera. Now you want this to run on startup on your encoding machine. You don't need this to run at startup on your gaming or main desktop because the virtual camera is what's essentially replacing the initial OBS NDI plugin that was existing that we would use for NDI. So make sure that that's running at startup. Uh, otherwise you have to manually start it up or reinstall the app. So generally you would click next and continue on with the setup. Uh, in this case, cause I already have it installed on both of my machines. I'm just gonna cancel out at this point. All right, so at this point where we have OBS, this I will show, uh, you'll just see it like kind of overlaid uh, on this, uh, this instance. So what we want to do is we want to hit add. Now in add, we want to come to video capture device. What we will do in a second is make this and call it NDI2. Let's cancel out of that for a second. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, start up the NDI scan converter on my machine here so that I can give you an idea of how you actually do this on your gaming machine. When you open the new tech NDI scan converter on your desktop PC, you'll see the little icon down here. Now it'll say NDI and it'll have like a blue blueness to it. You want to right click, your frame rate will be 60p or 30p. In most cases, you'll be selecting 60p because that's 60 FPS uh, or 60 Hertz. If you do want to have 30 Hertz because you only have like a 30 Hertz monitor or something like that, uh, or your games only run at 30 Hertz, 
then that's more than ample. But in most cases, I would recommend running at 60p. Region of interest you can ignore. This is so that say, for instance, you wanna capture a single region on the actual screen itself, you can configure it to do so, but we're capturing an entire display, so we don't need to worry about that. Audio source. Now, this is the most important part, because this is actually going to send your desktop game audio with the NDI display source. So what you're going to do in the audio source on your desktop is make sure that this is set to system audio. So then it will actually output whatever your main Windows audio source is over NDI with the, with the scan converter source. So make sure that this is set to system audio. We've set that up on the gaming machine. So make sure you do that on your gaming machine. On your encoding machine, what you want to do is you want to open the NDI virtual input or the virtual camera, which you should see behind me here. And down on your taskbar, uh, you should have a, an NDI icon that is uh, yellow in appearance. You want to right click on that. Now you're going to see every single NDI source you currently have. In this instance, we have two sources. We have the desktop that I'm currently running, uh, which I've opened the scan converter on, so it will show up there, and it'll display the GPU that it's going to be outputting. In this case, we want to capture the display from my gaming machine, which is in this case called Deathstar V2, and it has a GeForce GTX 1060 in it. So we're gonna make sure that that's ticked. In settings, leave this as is. You should not need to touch anything in here. Then what we do, is we come back to the video capture source that we've created earlier, and then we right click and go properties. Now in the device listing, what you want to select is quite simple. New tech NDI video, and then you want to hit okay. And in a second, hopefully it's going to capture my desktop. There we go. And you can see here, and this is, in this is essentially in real time. Um, there's barely any delay whatsoever. Um, I'm moving this Spotify window quite easily and uh, I'm noticing like no latency whatsoever. You may be wondering, I'm going to play some Spotify. Guess what? There's no audio right now. You obviously can't hear the song that I'm playing, but it's playing. So what we're going to do, all right, so we're going to right click on the NDI source and we're gonna go back to properties. When we, when we come down here to the custom audio device, we want to select line new tech NDI audio. And what that's going to do is that's going to add an audio device, which is installed when new tech uh, NDI tools 3.5 runs the first time. And you're soon in a second going to start hearing music. Perfect. So it's now outputting audio. That's it. That's your NDI source configured and running. It's incredibly simple, incredibly straightforward, and allows you to do things near instantly. It's perfect. And that's it. Link uh, to the, the link to the new NDI 3.5 tools will be in the description below. Um, so make sure you do go grab that. Um, this does kind of deprecate a whole lot of different, uh, different work. Uh, there are a lot of really interesting things that the NDI 3.5 tools does include. Uh, you can technically mirror your webcam from your main desktop to your encoding machine. However, as a rule of thumb, I do tend to tell people these days, plug your mic, plug, plug your webcam, just plug everything into your encoding box so that all your, all your main gaming machine is doing is simply gaming uh, and all you're doing is outputting the NDI over your network. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, like it. If you despised it, despise it. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more of these tutorials. But uh, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one.